ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the tallest man I know, John Dimmel! <laughs> My dick feels bigger when they bring me up to rap. Anyone else feel that way? Uh -huh. Travis does. He knows it feels good. What? I'm up to at least four inches when I come up to some hip hop. Yeah. How is everyone doing tonight? Fantastic. I don't care what else happens tonight. That's the most important thing to me is how is everyone doing tonight? I hate to start off like this because I know it's a comedy show. Everyone wants to come out to laugh, have a good time, have some drinks on a weeknight. But I gotta start off on something deep. I gotta hit you with something heavy. Am I the only one that really wants to fuck Adele? Is it just me? Depends on the angle. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know if you're like me, but I fuck with the lights off, so all angles are good. <laughs> That's as much for me as it is for her, so it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, on a serious note, I kind of want to fuck Adele. Now, I'm being very specific when I say fuck Adele. I don't want to date Adele. Because because of her success, that bitch has made herself virtually undateable. Could you imagine? You're having a good time, you're together for a couple of months, things are going well, maybe something comes up, maybe you don't like, whatever, I don't know, you live with someone, shit starts to suck. You feel like maybe it's not working out. Guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna break up with Adele, you can go back to fucking serving fish and chips or whatever the fuck that guy did that she broke up with, and she's gonna go quadruple goddamn platinum because she's not fucking you anymore. <laughs> what does that say about you? What does that say about you that not being with someone elevates them to a level of success they could have never achieved if you hadn't fucked with them in some way? That would hurt. That is why I date people that are on my level of talent. I break up with a girl, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? She's gonna tack on a couple of pounds and fuck off. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? She's gonna have a couple extra hot pockets and be real sad. It's fine. She's not gonna drop a fucking single that I'm gonna have to listen to with my next girlfriend, who's probably a fucking cunt. <laughs> and be like, damn, if I could have just sucked it up, if I could have just dealt with the fact that she got a little splatter on the rim, I could fucking be with that still. I could be rich with her. Because guys get half two in a divorce. You stick that out long enough, guys get half two. Especially if you don't get married in L.A. If you're married in L.A., you're fucked, but if you have kids. So with the doubt, <laughs> I don't know what it is. There is just, oh man, there is something about that thick bitch that just makes me want to roll in the deep. <laughs> I don't, I'm like, I don't like fat girls, that's not my thing. Dirt, trust me, all girls deserve love. Any girl left in this room, you deserve love. Yeah. May not be from me, but Darren didn't hit that up. <laughs> DP won't say no to shit. It's true. <laughs> Except DP. <laughs> yes, thank you, darling. I need to stay hydrated. No, no. Is any, like, I want to talk to the guys for a second. I'm off of fucking fat bitches. <laughs> do any of the guys out there think you're a really good lover? Do you think you really just give it to your girl like in a real way? Be honest, it's okay. It's okay. We probably all feel that way at some point. No. Let me check your ego for a second. You are not nearly as good a lover as Dave Coulier. What? Who the fuck is Dave Coulier? Uncle Joey from Full House. Yes. None of you, no one in this room, lays pipe like Uncle Joey from Full House. Do you know how I know this? Do you know how I know Dave Coulier's sugar is so goddamn sweet? Bitches get hooked? Because Alanis Morissette dropped one of the biggest singles of all time because he stopped fucking her. 
<laughs> Are you kidding? Uncle Goddamn Joey was fucking the shit out of Alanis Morissette, who is a thousand times more talented than that dude. He had a puppet woodchuck on a shitty show on TGI Friday, and she couldn't get over it. <laughs> this bitch won Grammys. She's made one popular song her entire life because of Uncle Joey. Uncle Jesse, John Stamos, was the hot guy on that show, and he lost his supermodel wife to the fat kid from Stand By Me. <laughs> he doesn't put it down like Uncle Joey. That says a lot about supermodels, though. You married Uncle Jesse and the fat kid from Stand By Me. Are you fucking serious? That's the pool you're swimming in? That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> oh, what else? I know I had something else. And I knew I was going to forget it, too, because I got all fucking worked up back there. Thanks, Travis. Dickhead. Jesus! Jesus? No, it wasn't about Jesus. It's always about Jesus. I have no material about Jesus. Well, fuck Our you Lord then. and Savior. <laughs> no one believes that when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> I am certified online to practice religion, and no one fucking believes that when I say uh, it. Who's that mean? Yeah. He's a minister. I'm a minister, yes. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Two of my jackass friends were like, yeah, we don't, like, you're not my best man, but I'm going to feel bad if you're not somehow involved in this. Yeah. So you can fucking do a speech at the beginning. That's fine. It's fine. I had the nicest suit in that whole fucking party. I don't give a shit what anyone says. I dropped more on my suit than the groom. That's embarrassing. Creepy as shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much else than that. I really just wanted to talk about fucking Adele. As, uh, because I've never broken up with a girl that's done anything after I broke up with her. I don't even know what I I don't know what a single I don't know what a single ex girlfriend has ever done since I well okay I say I dumped them. Let me be honest. I get dumped every fucking time. I, I I've broken up with one girl my entire life. Oh, and Derby. Somehow that has to be my Catholic roots. I don't practice Catholicism at all, but I was baptized that way, so I think there's an amount of guilt that's just instilled in me. So I'm like, nah, fuck it. I'm like, I haven't punched you yet. We can still work this out. <laughs> but nah, they'll normally get rid of me. But again, they're not going out going quadruple goddamn platinum afterwards. I don't know what they're doing. They might be pumping gas. That's my real fantasy. To pull up after I just fucked the shit out of Adele, it's just banging in my car, and some ex-girlfriend comes and pumps my gas. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough out of my skinny ass. You guys, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for sticking out around. It's a school Woo! night. You guys are super fucking supportive. We got a couple comedians left, right? And if you're so inclined, just as my last bit of shameless self-promotion, yeah. we're doing a comedy special next week. What? Yeah. It's named after at least my favorite person on the entire planet. Adele. Derby Deeds Done Derp Cheap. April 3rd, 10 p.m., we have special guest Mikey McKernan. Yeah. Yeah. Hosted by Robbie Turo. Yeah. Travis Spencer will be there. And we've got Bombo Belford and Billy Atchison. They are going to rock your funny hole like it's never been rocked before. Thank you guys so much. Keep it going for Robbie Turo. Turbo Tuesdays every Tuesday. <laughs>